So this question, this very, very serious question comes from Marcus T. Is it possible, is it possible for somebody who just turned 29 with no IT experience or degree to get their foot in the door to an entry level IT job. I'm worried I'm too late in the game and that the younger generation will already have far more skills than me, meaning I can never catch up. Dear Marcus, it saddens me to say you are far, far, far too old. Realistically, probably the only option you have is to move to Oregon, where they have legalized euthanasia, and just put yourself out of your misery now. You are 29 years old, and if you haven't done anything by now, you will just be a complete failure for the rest of your life. <laughs> oh, what the hell is wrong with people? God, Marcus. Um, you're 29, dude. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even know why this is a serious question. The only real reason, like, I'm answering this question, this question is so ridiculous, the only reason I'm, I'm answering it is because I get it so often. It's one thing, like, when you get a ridiculous question, like, once, and you look at the person and go, you're a dumbass. But, like, when you get the exact same question again and again and again by many different people, that's when you're like, oh my golly, what the hell do you think people think uh, going on? Um, dude, you're 29. You are young. You are young, 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 young. Uh, you know, I talk about being 38 and I feel uh, being old in this field. Please understand that I only feel old within the IT field because within the last 20 years of my, my professional experience in this field, things have changed so dramatically. It's not that I actually feel old or that I'm over the hill or any of that kind of crap. It is simply, again, as I've said, what I've seen 10 operating, 10 Microsoft operating systems come and go, not to mention all the Linux and Mac and everything else. And so for me, um, it's... It feels like it's been a long time simply because of that. But no, if you're, if you're 29 years old, you are a young duck. You are a young, 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 young duck. Um, no, get into IT, uh, especially if you're going for entry-level experience. Uh, you shouldn't have any issues. Um, yeah, there's... And again, one, one thing you have to think about, like when I talk about ageism or such in the IT field... Um, yeah, we're not talking about 29-year-olds. Again, we're talking about something like 50-year-olds. If you're hiring a new 50-year-old, um, you know, and it's not even really age that you have to worry about. You know, when I, when I think about hiring a 50-year-old, I am not concerned about hiring a 50-year-old. What I'm concerned about hiring when I hire somebody who is 50 is how set in their ways are they? Will this employee respond to instructions from a younger superior, right? So if I hire a 50-year-old as a noob, um, and I have a 25-year-old who's a hotshot, who knows what the hell is going on, will that 50-year-old do what the 25-year-old what the asks them to do or tells them to do? And that's, what, that's one of the problems I get into, like with everybody complaining about ageism, because so much of the complaint about ageism, it's all about, oh, these young whippersnappers, they don't know what's going on, they're selfish, they're greedy, they're stupid. And believe me, being in that Generation X middle group between the millennials and the baby boomers, I hate them all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I despise millennials and baby boomers at about the same level because the issue is, is you get into it and what you find is, is both sides of the, the equation feel like they know what their right way is and then they come into loggerheads and I'm the boss and I just want work to get done. Just everybody just shut up and do your damn job, right? So the thing is, if you're like 29... 29 is not an issue. You are still a young duck uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I know people who have gotten into IT and tech uh, in their 40s. Uh, but again, one thing you have to think about if you're going to be getting into IT or tech in your 40s is what is your goal? And this is an important thing because a lot of you youngins, right, you all want to be elbow deep into technology. You know, you want to be ripping apart computers. You want to be building servers. You want to be doing all this physical stuff. So the problem is, is a lot of the the, uh, 
of the people that try to get into tech in the for in their 40s, um, they have this idea that they need to be elbow deep into stuff. Um, but then, you know, as a boss, I'm looking at it and is like, do I really feel comfortable with a 40 year old elbow deep into stuff? Um, if you just got your MCSE and you're 40 years old and you have all this prior life experience, you know, you probably would be better as a manager. You would probably be better as a project manager. You would be better as a salesperson. You would be better as a, a business analyst because you have all of this stuff behind you. Now, if you come in there and you're like, no, I want to be working on computers, you know, it's like, uh, you get into this whole weird, weird thing. Um, but no, you're, you're 29. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Stop. <laughs> Stop coming up with excuses for failure. That's what I would say with most people out there. So many of the questions I get, it's like, stop coming up with excuses for failure. You guys come up with these like beautiful excuses. You spend all this time and energy coming up with an excuse on why you should fail. And so what I would ask you is just stop wasting all this time coming up with an excuse and put that towards going to work and you will be far better off. Again, at 29, 29, I, I don't... I, it really, it is laughable. It is laughable that you're even asking this question. Uh, again, what I would say is if you're going to be going into the IT world now, uh, go down the coding track, uh, Ruby, PHP, app development, that kind of thing. That is what is going to be valuable going into the future. Uh, again, computer repair, running cable, that kind of stuff, not so much. Um, and then go from there. Depending on how much money you have in your back pocket, whether you go for a college degree or whether you go for one of these coding boot camps, you know, that, that's all up to you. Um, but yeah, no, you're, you're good. Because again, one of the issues that I see comes up too with people talking about being old, and I talked about this a couple of days ago, is, you know, there's this idea that old people don't want to, older people don't want to do things because they're tired and they're worn out and they don't have the energy. Where I would argue with a lot of us older folks, um, we can still work 12 and 16 hours a day. It's just we've proven ourselves to ourselves, right? You know, I, I talk about that when I got my college degree and I did the military and I traveled around the world. I did all of these insane things. So I spent about a decade doing absolutely mind-blowing, insane stuff. And kind of when I got done to that decade, I felt good about myself. I felt confident about myself. You know, I may not always know where my paycheck is coming from, but I, I know what my place in this world is. And so that's why now at 38, I don't want to be working 12 or 16 hours a day. Not because I can't, seriously, not because I can't, but because I already make enough money. I'm already fed. I already have a car. I already, I have inbound calls coming in asking me for work. So I don't have that need to prove who I am. Whereas with you, if you're 29 years old and you still haven't done what you, what you, you find to be significant in life, you still have that drive. You still have that energy and you'll be you'll be going. Again, um, when I was building my consulting company, I was doing that in my 30s. And I was, I had, I, I, I worked 30 day months and, you know, 14 hour days and the whole nine yards. Um, so, so yeah, <laughs> stop coming up with excuses to fail. <laughs> You're 29, get out there, start doing the work. You're fine. You're fine. Fine, fine, fine. When you're, when you're 49, and again, I'm not, I, I, I don't try to, I, I don't exaggerate. I don't try to be too melodramatic on this. Uh, when you're 49, yes, at, at 49, you do start to have some issues, some real issues in life. Uh, but at 29, you're, you're nowhere near any of those issues.